Hey guys, welcome back to an era of Minecraft uh, World War II vehicle tutorial. In this story, we'll be going ahead and doing the Vickers Medium Mark III uh, with a crew of seven dimensions you can see on screen now, a length of about 6.55 meters. Its role is a medium tank, and the number built was only three, two of which were prototypes. Uh, armaments include one three pounder gun and uh, three Vickers MG machine guns and very weak armor. Uh, engine you can see right here an Armstrong Sidley of uh, the 42 total horsepower and a max speed of 40 km per hour. But anyways, guys, that's it for this and enjoy the tutorial. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and building the Vickers Medium Mark III. Uh, this was a medium tank developed in the United Kingdom during the post-war. Uh, basically, it was closer to World War II, so I decided to go ahead and kind of include it as a World War II tutorial. Though, I guess you could also classify it as a World War I. It was just in that the in-between stage between the wars, so it's kind of hard to classify exactly, you know, what uh, war this tank would really belong to. Um, it's kind of just has, you know, the influence of, influences of kind of both. Um, it has the look of a World War I tank, but also it has some aspects that kind of look of like a World War II tank. Uh, during the uh, production of this tank, uh, only three were built, and they were found to be very unsuccessful. And the design um, was pretty much abandoned, and, you know, it, pretty much only three of these were ever produced. So, uh, nothing more really came out of this tank besides, you know, just three of his vehicles and one was lost to a fire and there to uh, probably eventually scrapped or left to rot or forgotten about um, something of that kind of sort. Uh, overall this uh, vehicle is um, pretty interesting. Um, it was kind of an interesting build to do, a little bit complicated. It has um, definitely a different shape than the typical vehicles we do. Um, so it was kind of a challenge but I think I did a pretty decent job for uh, trying to capture the shape that it has while also uh, making it look pretty decent in Minecraft. Um, anyways, uh, this uh, vehicle here was a birthday request, so uh, I want to go and wish a happy birthday to J Dog is awesome one for uh, requesting this vehicle for their birthday. Uh, this uh, vehicle is definitely quite an interesting one, so thank you for the request, J Dog. Definitely a tank that's uh, different, and I kind of like that stuff when you guys request, you know, uh, vehicles out of the norm makes it a little bit interesting because, of course, your more popular ones are definitely going to come more uh, come sooner than. Uh, you know, ones that are a little bit more abstract like this one, which I didn't even know about this tank, so uh, very uh, good request there, J-Dog. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle itself, and we'll go ahead and pop into the tutorial. Um, as you can see, it's a fairly, um, you know, nice-sized tank, uh, coming out a length of uh, 6.55 um, um, meters, which uh, translates to about 12, maybe uh, 13 blocks in Minecraft, um, and you can see um, it pretty much fits that. A uh, very uh, kind of you know medium-sized tank definitely fits the role of a medium tank. A lot of detail on the back vents, uh, mufflers, all that kind of stuff for it. Uh, lots of little good details in it. I think it came out pretty good. The, the track system itself, I love. I think that um, definitely came out really well because um, the tracks have a very nice kind of slant to them, along with the whole body which slants, which is kind of interesting. It's a little bit that was a little bit of a tricky part trying to figure that out. Uh, but once I kind of got the this um, set up I kind of realized hey you know that actually looks pretty good I think that works for it so um, I do like that uh, on the front here you have the two uh, turrets here that would be machine guns um, you have your three pounder turret which I, or three pounder gun which is right here it also has another uh, gun right here and then another uh, machine gun so I'm not sure um, on the uh, line it said it had uh, three Vickers machine guns um, but I'm seeing uh, at least three around here and it's also mentioned a quarter a three quarter pound gun but I don't know what one of these things would represent. Um, you have this uh, barrel right here that's longer, and then there one that kind of comes out the side of the turret. So I'm not 100% sure uh, on how that actually works, um, but uh, definitely interesting to see at least. So um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think it came out good, and hopefully you guys do enjoy. Uh, makes a cool uh, addition to uh, any post-war scenarios you guys got going on. Other than that, it uh, doesn't really you know go with any anything else uh, besides post-war. Of course, you could incorporate it into a World War II, you know, scenario that is 100% historically accurate, but, uh, I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for this uh, little overview of the tank. Let's go ahead and move into the tour by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Alright, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer. Now, for layer 1, we're going to go ahead and start off by uh, basically going to the uh, front of our vehicle and pretty much blowing that up to start off with. Now, we're going to go ahead and place down a narrow brick up stair on stair like this, followed by a dark oak wood stair behind it, like so. We then want to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven dark oak wood stairs after this one. So you have a total of eight of these dark oak wood stairs that go back. 
We're then going to place dinerbic half sab and then a nerbic top sab like that for the back. Along the side here of these um, stairs, we're just going to go and take some signs and we're just going to go ahead and run the signs along the side of these stairs all the way along just like that to just kind of like you know add a little bit of um you know detail to the tracks and all that stuff once you have that done we want to go ahead and go back up to the front here we're going to take our dark oak with top sides we're going to go ahead and place down a row three that comes from that narrow break up down stair and then going back here we're going to go ahead and go to this narrow break half sab and place down a row three of dark oak with top sabs as well we then want to take our dark oak with top sabs just go ahead and connect these rows of three to, uh, to each other with these long uh, rows all the way like this so you're going to create a nice bottom of the tank like that once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the side here again, place down an air brick uh, upside down stair like that, and your dark oak with stairs back. Basically, we're copying the same design we did on the air side here, just over here, so uh, you should get a pretty nice um, design for it. And, of course, if you need to refer back to the air side, feel free to go ahead and do so, because it's the exact same. And uh, then again, don't forget your signs, all on those dark oak with stairs. And uh, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the front here, place down a dark oak with fence gate, coming off the center uh, top side like this we're gonna go ahead and open it up so it's facing out uh, from the tank and then we're just gonna go ahead and crouch and place down a sign uh, coming off that um, wind trap door just like that once you guys have that all done that's gonna do it for uh, layer one and with that we'll go ahead and move on to layer two all right guys so going ahead and moving on to layer two now for layer two what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by going to our nether brick stairs up here in the front we're gonna place down a row of five of green stank white blocks we're then going to place dying stone bun on either side of the row of uh, three, and we're going to go ahead and continue on. Now, on the front here, we're going to place down a narrow break up down stair, come off on either side of that row of five, followed by a row of three of dark oak with up down stairs in the middle like that. On the very center stair, we're just going to place down a sign, and that's going to kind of complete this front ladder here. That would be for the crew to use to get up onto the tank. With that finished, going to the sides here, we're going to place down a nether brick top sub. We then want to place down two green stankway blocks, a end rod on top of that uh, stair like that, a nether brick top sub, a green stankway block with a sign on the side of it, a dark oak wood top sub, a nether brick top sub, a uh, open fence gate come off the side of that top sub, and then a green stankway block like this um, on top of that um, nether brick half sub, and then a dark oak wood, or sorry, nether brick stair on top of that nether brick top sub, and also a stone button on this green stankway block here. So you have this design, which looks something just like that. We're going to go ahead and copy the same design over here. It may look like a mess, but it's definitely going to look a little bit better once we get the uh, next layer built on uh, to it and kind of complete the track. So uh, for the time being, it's going to look a little bit messy, but it will look definitely better um, once we get it all finalized and set up. And that's going to go all the way back to here. We're going to place down a stone button on the side like that and pretty much call that good. Now, in, now uh, on the sides here, these rows, you can see we have the spaces. If we look in the side here, we have those spaces we need to fill in. We're just going to go take rows of green stain clay and just run along the side here. We're going to go all the way back to the side of this narrow brick stair. Same thing for this row over here on this side, all the way back to the narrow brick stair. And then in the very center here, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, spruce wood plank. We're going to place down a spruce wood plank in the center there. And then we're just going to place down a green stain clay block, just like that, um, to go ahead and kind of fill that space in the back here. So we get something that looks like that. Now in the very back here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves trip bar hooks, place down one like this on either side, and then we're going to place down a sign on this uh, spruce wood plank, just like that for the back there, for detailing. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much uh, do it for this layer. Um, as you can see, very simple stuff. And once you guys have layer 2 done, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 3. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we're going to be going ahead and moving on to layer 3. Now for layer 3, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start by going to the front here. We're going to place down a row 3 of dark equipped half subs, or sorry, row 5 dark equipped half subs to go across the uh, narrow brick up sound stairs and uh, dark equipped up sound stairs. We then want to place down a green stink wood block on the ends like that, followed by a row 3 of spruce wood planks in the very center. Once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to our tracks here, and we're just going to go ahead and take a dark equipped half sub, place down one on top of this dark equipped top sub. We're then going to place down one and two. Nether brick top sabs, or sorry, half sabs, followed by a dark oak with half sab, and then we're going to place down one and two green stankway blocks, just like this. On the first green stankway block, we're going to place down a sign, and we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, stone button, and we're going to place down a stone button on this green stankway block as well. We then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak with stair like this, followed by one facing this direction, like that, a, a uh, acacia with half slab, and then a wither skeleton skull, like that, going back. Once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and pretty much repeat the same design over to the air side. So dark oak with half slab. We're then going to place down two narrow brick half slabs. Dark oak with half slab, two green stinkway blocks, a sign on the first one, and a stone button on the second block. Uh, dark oak with stair. Dark oak with stair facing the opposite direction. 
a acacia wood slab, and then a uh, wither skeleton skull coming off of it like so. Now, once that's all done, uh, you pretty much have your center filled in right here, or not your center, but the sides, and that's going to pretty much be the tracks there. Now, with that finished, we can go ahead and take our green stain clay blocks, and along the half slabs here, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four. Green stain clay blocks going back, same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. If you want to, you can just go ahead and fill it in. Um, that's also a thing you can do. You can just go ahead and fill that in. And we can also fill in this space right here as well. When we get back here to this section, though, we're going to go ahead and go to the left side. We're going to place down two dark oak wood up downstairs. Or, my bad, sorry. Uh, two dark oak wood stairs, just like that. And on the other side here, two dark oak wood stairs, like so. So you kind of create like this little space right here. Then on the side here, uh, we're gonna, or in this space here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a acacia wood half slab right there next to it. So you should get something that looks like that on the back. With that finished, we then want to take daylight centers, or sensors. We're going to place down one and two, and then one and two back for the vents. We're going to take stone buttons, place down two stone buttons like that uh, for a bit of detail there. And uh, once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for uh, that. Uh, the last thing we have to do is we have to just go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames and also some glass blocks. Uh, we can just go and go into our inventory and do that. We're going to place down an item frame on the sides here like this. And then we're going to place down a sign on the back of that item frame. Oops, not like that, uh, right here on the sides. And then we're just going to place down a glass block in the item frame like that to go and make the uh, front headlights there for the uh, tank. Once you guys have that done, that's it for layer 3, and we can go and move on to layer 4. Alright guys, so uh, going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer 4. Now for layer 4, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and take a dark or a green stick with a block now, and we're going to place down one on top of this dark wood half slab like that uh, on either side. Uh, we also want to go ahead and take uh, stone buns. We're going to place down two stone buns, one on either side here of that row of three of green stain clay. And then coming off these uh, green stain clay blocks, we're going to place down some uh, end rods, just like that. In the very center here, in the space, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair on either side like that. With that done, we're then going to go and take a green carpet, place down a green carpet, going back from this green stain clay block. And then we're just going to place down a row of three behind these green, or sorry, these dark oak wood stairs, just like that. Once you guys have that done, we're just going to take our green stained clay blocks, place down a row of five of green stained clay that goes all the way across, followed by a stone button on your side. Once you guys have that done, we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs, place down a row of uh, five here, dark oak wood stairs that go all the way across, followed by a wooden sign on your side of this uh, row of five dark oak wood stairs, just like that. Then uh, we're going to place down a dark oak wood half step on the side here, and then going from uh, left to right, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some mossy cobblestone or sorry, uh, some stone brick slabs. We're going to place down two stone bricks uh, half slabs, followed by a spruce wood half slab, and then a dark oak wood half slab. Coming back here to this section, we're going to place down uh, one, two, and three green carpets, and then one, two, and three green carpets all going back like that. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate and come off this uh, spruce wood half slab. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate, uh, just like that to kind of make this uh, little um, thing that kind of pops off the back there. And uh, once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for uh, layer 4. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 5. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our uh, next uh, layers here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, finish off our tutorial by just going ahead and doing layers uh, 5, uh, 6, and 7. We're just going to go ahead and pretty much just go ahead and finish it all off uh, and get this vehicle done. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to the front up here. We're going to go ahead and go to this row, first row 3 here, green stain clay. We're going to place down a green stain clay block, come off the center like that. We're then going to take our end rods. We're going to place down one, two, and three. End, rod, end rods coming off that uh, center um, block, just like that. On the left side of this green snake wood block, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. And on the other side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood up sound stair, followed by a dark oak wood top set. Once you have that done, we're going to take our green snake wood blocks, place down a row of three behind the, those blocks, like that. We're then going to place down a green snake wood block coming off the center of that row of three, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on either side. With that finished, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top set that comes off the green stain clay block going back like so. Now on the top here, we're just going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood half set on this green stain clay block. We then want to place down one and two dark oak wood half sets that go across like this, followed by a dark oak wood stair like that, and then a end rod coming off that dark oak wood stair. When you have that done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood half set from this one right here, and then a dark oak wood half set on top of this top set. So you get something that kind of looks like that for the turret. With that finish, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some green carpet on top of these uh, top slabs and these upside down stairs. We're going to place down two green carpets. And lastly, we just want to take some iron bars. We're going to place down one and two iron bars like that uh, for the antenna for the tank. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the uh, Vickers Medium Mark III Medium Tank. 
Uh, definitely a uh, interesting vehicle and definitely a very unique one. And again, a special thanks to J Dog for requesting this for their birthday. Again, happy birthday, man! Hopefully, you do enjoy the design. And hopefully, those of you guys that are building this also enjoy it. Uh, if you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for this. Anything from the sign of the build to link to my channel or this video if there's any social media sites. Uh, just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to, uh, you know, continue to post this content. So. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to go ahead and uh, give me credit. And of course, if you do end up using it and you guys give me credit for it, you guys are free to use it for whatever you guys want to uh, use it for. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.